Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Elizabeth and I'm a kindergarten teacher here in California. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing my number one tip to help you, the teacher, keep activities and stations fresh and exciting for students so that they stay engaged and don't get bored with the activities that you have in class. I am partnering with Lakeshore Learning for this video and they have sent me four different games to try out and test out in the classroom. And it was perfect timing because I literally just rotated games and stations and so they sent them and my kids it was like exactly what I needed to get through this holiday season so if you are in the same position or you're looking for some really engaging hands-on activities just keep watching Hey guys, welcome back. So I want to share with you something that I do in class to kind of help my students just have a fresh perspective on the activities in class. So we have a time in our schedule where the students kind of have free choice, we call it free choice time, and the students are basically dismissed to a certain area of the room and they can just kind of like make a free choice, they can do whatever activity they want to as long as it's in that area, just because when you have so many students, I just break and group my students up into smaller groups. So for example, if I have six students who are in Imagination Station, which is behind me right here. Um, the students will come to the station, grab whatever activities they want to, and then they have the area that's in front of me right now um, to basically explore and play with these um, educational toys. There are two different ways that I keep the students' perspective and interests kind of fresh. And the first way is to kind of group them, like I said earlier, into smaller groups and then rotate them so that they're not in this station every day. In class, I have three different cards, and on each card, it would say like Imagination Station, I have another one that says Creative Play, and another one that says Table Times. And so basically, each day for that free choice time, I would rotate their name on a different card, and then for that day, they stay in that station. So if they're in Imagination Station, then they stay in Imagination Station for that day, and then the following day, their name would be moved down to Creative Play, and then the following day it would be moved down to Table Time. The second thing that I do is I try to rotate out the toys or the educational activities that are in the station. Lakeshore Learning sent me four different educational toys that came at such a perfect time. We have been, um, you know, wrapping up the holiday activities and we are kind of ending our holiday season here. It is the end of December and we are looking ahead towards winter break. But the last two weeks have been a little bit crazy just with the extra activities. There's a lot more adrenaline. Obviously the students are super excited about what is coming up, you know, Christmas and the holidays. And so I did something that I would recommend you try, and this is the second thing that I wanted to talk about, and that is just to rotate out the toys or the educational activities in each station. And basically what I do is I have a stage that I had made for the classroom, and inside the stage I have all of these different centers and stations that I have kind of collected over the years. I will store stations in there and then once a month, typically when I change units um, as I'm teaching different academic skills, um, I will take certain stations out that are um, concept based and I will put other stations in there and store them and then I just kind of rotate them out like that. If I notice that um, a, you know stu the students really like a specific activity, I might keep that activity in there but then take one or two other items out and rotate them out. And so I recommend that you do that too. I, I honestly do because it, I feel like it just keeps their eyes on something fresh and new and it really helps keep their um, attention on that and it also just helps diversify and di differentiate the activities that are in the stations. I wanted to take just a minute and kind of walk you through the four different educational toys that Lakeshore Learning sent me. They are... <laughs> They have seriously been a lifesaver during this time of the year. I put them out about two weeks ago, and the students are so excited to get to Imagination Station. Everybody always asks to be in this station because of these four toys. So the first activity is this take-along train station, and the students absolutely loved this. It basically is like a little carrier case that opens up 
and all of the pieces of the train track and the actual train fit inside this box so you can literally take it along with you anywhere you go which is really nice especially I'm thinking if you're maybe a homeschooling parent um, and you have maybe meetups or things that you go to and you have younger students who are in that primary age group this would be such a wonderful activity for them um, it is a take-along train it's very durable and so the students absolutely loved playing with this they got really hands-on and like I said they just have been glued to it the last two weeks and everybody's so excited to get to Imagination Station. The next item I want to share with you is the Royal Kingdom Adventure Castle and it is as awesome as it sounds. The students basically have different pieces. There's a couple knights, there's a dragon, there's a wizard, and the students just play. It opens up. It's really durable. The students just were, they're so drawn to this specific toy and they absolutely love it. I have a couple students who grab the dragon and it's like all that they want to play with that whole time. Um, but I hear a lot of talk between the students too about kind of role playing and just using their imagination and it's just a way for them to express and communicate and, and play with one another. Another hit was this play and explore rocket. The rocket opens up and inside there's a bed and when you flip the bed up underneath the bed there's a bunch of like you know pretend tools it comes with um, a little car and the students just absolutely loved it I will actually probably keep this out for the next week but then I'll tuck it away and pull it back out when we have our community helper unit we do talk about astronauts and so um, also for our space unit I do a community helper and then in science we talk about space so this would be such a perfect um, you know educational toy for my community helper or your space unit and the students absolutely love playing with it. All of Lakeshore Learning's toys have always been very durable and um, you can just tell these are going to last a long time. Last but not least, Lakeshore Learning sent me these snap and design monster trucks. They are so much fun and they really give the students just the creativity and the option to kind of customize their own monster truck. And this activity can be actually paired with the train set or the castle. One thing that I noticed as the students were playing with all of these activities was that a lot of times they would combine the activities. So they would make a train, you know, station and a track and then they would bring over the monster trucks and kind of imagine that the monster trucks are defeating the um, the train track or, you know, chasing the train or the dragon would come in from the castle. So there was a lot of... Um, you know diversity amongst the toys and you can play and combine kind of all of these toys together I just noticed I just noticed that as a side note as the students were playing with them so as I've gotten into the habit of rotating out activities in my classroom I've noticed that my students attention spans have actually lengthened because they're not looking at the same activities day in and day out I am basically being very deliberate about rotating out you know centers and stations and everything every month and I have a parent volunteer come in and I have a teacher's aide come in and they actually help me with that so you know at the end of every month I basically kind of direct them like okay let's pack package these up and let's put these um, stations or centers out so that the students can use those and play with those um, you know in in the days ahead I hope those two tips were helpful for you I know this time of year can be so crazy and having some ideas or different activities maybe that you could add to your classroom repertoire um, maybe the thing that just kind of helps get you through this holiday season. So Lakeshore Learning has a holiday gift guide that I want to direct you to. I will link it down below as well. There's also a coupon code down below as well. If you decide to purchase any of these items, you can use that coupon code to get a discount. So hopefully you found a couple of tips that you can use and implement in your classroom. I would love though to hear what you do in your classroom to keep um, activities exciting and your students engaged. Um, so feel free to leave all of those tips in advice down below in the comments and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button please consider doing that and joining the family so I will see you guys in the next video and I hope you guys have a good holiday season I know there's so many holidays this month Kwanzaa Christmas Hanukkah and then New Year's Eve so whatever you celebrate if you celebrate all or just a couple of those holidays I hope you have the best end of the year ever and I will see you guys in the next video bye